This is it. these twinkling lights. That's Harmony. I can't wait to see the view in the daylight. So, uh, how far are we from the colonial settlement? Not far at all, according to my map. Okay. I've got it all planned out. While you guys are scouting out the old settlement, Kay and I will start collecting native flora and fauna for our project. How's that grab you, Kay? Whatever, Reese. But don't forget. Part of your job is to help me distract Deep Boy long enough for me to slink into Miguel's sleeping bag. And where is Charity going to be while you attempt this slinkage? Well, I don't know. But I'll think of something. My other goal before I get back to civilization is to figure out where this pendant is from originally. I can't move another inch. Shh. Well, I suppose this is close enough. But remember, we still have to get that pendant away from Reese and back on Charity. And then she'll turn evil, kill Miguel, and life will be just a bowl of cherries for you and me again. Uh, do me a favor, honey. Get me a clean diaper from wherever your mom keeps them. Okay. Mm. Oh, diaper. Yeah, diaper. Hmm. Oh, oh, no. Not that kind. Uh, the disposable one with, with the tape. This is the only kind we have. <sighs> Need any help? Not a bit. We're doing just fine here, aren't we, Joey? Look, Sheridan, why don't you just admit you never changed a diaper before and let me take over? I have this all under control. It, 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 this isn't rocket science. I'm just changing a baby's diaper. I think I can manage. All right, if you say so. So how are we doing there, Pat? Ooh, not too bad. I only wish men got to have this much fun in their lives. <laughs> I'll bet. So, still think the baby's gonna wait till the morning? I bet on it. And I know I'm in very capable hands until then. You and your wife have kids? My wife? Oh, no, Sheridan's not my wife. Well, you should marry her then. You make a real cute couple. You know, you can't make the phone ring by staring at it, Teresa. I am going out of my mind. I mean, why did Ethan and I have to have our first fight tonight of all nights? Teresa, you had to stick up for your brother. Besides, it's one little argument. It's not the end of the world. But Ethan was already freaked about telling Gwen he was calling off the wedding. What if our fight changed his mind? What if he marries Gwen tomorrow after all? Sam, I wonder what you'd say if you knew that Ethan was really your son. Please, do not even say those words out loud. I mean, no matter how much your heart aches tonight, don't hint at the truth to Sam. I mean, it's bad enough that you insist on my keeping the papers that would prove Ethan's paternity. Don't you ever destroy those, Pilar. Those papers are all I have to remind me that Sam's really Ethan's father. Where's DC? Oh, his leg is acting up a little bit earlier, so he just went to get us some drinks from the bar. Listen, don't worry about him, all right? I gave him a little pep talk earlier about him steering clear away from Julian. If I can stay away from Ivy, I guess the night will be a complete bust. Um, DC, so glad that you could make it. White wine cooler, please. And a scotch. Make that a dime. <clears throat> Where's your lovely other half? Stay away from my wife, Julie. That's right, Ethan. 
I know exactly what you want to talk to my daughter about. You want to tell her that you love Teresa and that you're going to call off the wedding. Look, but don't I... even try to deny it. I saw you kissing the little tramp. But let me tell you one thing. I make it perfectly clear. I am not going to just stand by and watch you hurt my little girl. of the one who could sing so sweet And I would fly on the wings of the bird I knew You'd take me high as breathe in, breathe out You keep me alive You are the fire burning inside of me You are my passion for life I, in no offense intended, I have only the highest regard for your wife. You don't know the meaning of the word. You and your family think that all of us was put on this earth just so you could use us and trash us, and then just move on without so much a look over your shoulder. Uh, such vituperation. Uh, that's a long word for anger. Well, how about if I show you a short word for if you say one more thing to me, I'll kill you. Ethan, you're not going to hurt Gwen because you know better. Look, you're not the first wealthy young man to have his head turned by some saucy little number from the wrong side of the tracks. But sex is sex. It's got nothing to do with love. This isn't about sex. T Teresa is innocent in every way. She never intended for things to happen the way they have, and neither did I. Oh, please, Ethan. She has manipulated this from the very beginning. Come on, you're an attorney. Surely you're more perceptive than that. No one planned any of this, not Teresa or me. I've loved Gwen my entire life. The last thing I want to do is hurt her by canceling the wedding. So then how could you even consider it? But because I can't very well marry her when I... when I have feelings for Teresa. It wouldn't be fair to Gwen. If I were you, I'd start thinking about the ramifications for yourself. I don't care about me. Well, you should. Because if you call this wedding off, not only are you going to ruin your life, but that of your parents. Is that how you really want to repay them for everything they've done for you? Oh, that's perfect. How about that, Sheridan? The baby's drier than you are. Excuse me. <laughs> Look, I'm sure you can find a hair dryer. It'll, it'll go a lot faster. You are just full of helpful hints, aren't you? You know you really should write your own column. Well, maybe I will someday. Look, next time you, uh, get dampened by the baby, don't yell out. You scared Pat so bad she practically gave birth. Well, I don't see why that should bother you. You know so much about everything, surely you can handle a simple home birth. Well, let's just hope we don't have to, okay? Look, uh, why don't you read to the kids? I'll make them something to eat, all I right? I can make them something to eat. I'm not completely incompetent. I didn't say you were. Oh, you don't have to. I already know what you think of my domestic abilities. Well, it's not your fault that you were raised in boarding school. Right. Hungry, kids? Starve! We want PB and J! Mommy. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. That's peanut I butter and jelly. I had a nanny growing up. I'm not an alien. I know what PB and J is. Coming right up, kids. Mommy. Women. Mommy. Exactly. Mommy. Oh! 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 All right. Let's check out the sleeping situation for tonight. Where's Miguel's bag? Right there. Tonight? I'm going to be in that bag with him. And what do you think is going to happen once you get inside Miguel's sleeping bag? Mm, something that requires this. Put that away. Are you crazy? <sighs> yeah. Crazy in love with Miguel. And tonight, I'm going to prove it to him. There you are, Tim Tim. This is where you'll sleep when it's lights out. No 
I'm taking a big risk trying to get that pendant back on charity. Last time she turned evil, she tried to kill Timmy and Tabitha. Yes. Well, we'll just have to take our chances and hope that the demons inside Charity are going to do away with Miguel before the kids start digging around in the old Harmony settlement. That would be a fate worse than death. What's worse than death? Don't ask. <laughs> you know, it's a lot clearer than I thought it was going to be. Look at all those stars. Glad the weather forecast was wrong. You know, what would be really cool is if we went down to the settlement tonight, saw it in the moonlight. No, no, you can't do that. Okay, just let it look. Uh, you know, I, I'd really feel better if we could get you to a hospital and get this baby <laughs> delivered by a doctor. I don't want to go to a hospital. I've got all my babies right here at home. I can wait till morning when she gets here. Okay, well, see, that's, that's the thing. See, you, I believe, but, you know, Junior may have other ideas. <sighs> Trust me. Junior's not ready to come and see the world just yet. There is plenty of time. <sighs> no, don't do that! But we're hungry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, see, you see, the trick, Sheridan, is to put it on the bread, not not all over yourself. I tried to tell her. She's very stubborn. Fine. You're the expert, you do it. I'll just go get some milk and do my best not to spill it. <laughs> there isn't any. Mom didn't get a chance to milk the cows today. Very funny, Joey. Uh, I don't think he's kidding. Hey, forget it. Uh, we'll make do with juice, huh? No, we most certainly will not. I I'm not afraid of milking some old cow. I've seen it done plenty of times. Yeah, reruns of Green Acres. Uh, that's instructional. Let me. I, I said that I would do it. Um, <clears throat> you know, maybe you should let your boyfriend do it. I mean, he is. Boyfriend? I beseech you, do not throw away all the years that you've invested in Ethan's future. Let him take his rightful place in the family. A son's rightful place is with his real father. Not when it means the destruction of lives. You made a decision to raise Ethan as Julian's son years ago. You cannot undo that now, no matter how strong the temptation. What if I can't fight it, Pilar? I mean, how can I go to that party? and be in the same room as Sam on the eve of our son's wedding. How can I sit and watch him dance with Grace when he should be dancing with me, when we should be toasting our son's future happiness? How, Pilar? Because I will be there to help you. I will not let you make the biggest mistake of your life. <sighs> well, of course I'd want you there anyway, but... You have to be prepared, because Rebecca is a terrible social snob. I am not in the least bit afraid of Rebecca Hotchkiss. Good. Because you are twice the woman she will ever be. Oh, I'll smile at her and get along with her in public. I'll have to, as Gwen's mother-in-law. But you have my word, Pilar, I will never forgive her for those terrible accusations she made about Ethan and Teresa. I never believed them, not for a minute. It's taking so long. And Ethan must have had time to talk to Gwen by now. Why hasn't he called? Teresa, what do you think Ethan's gonna do? Say, Gwen, I got some really bad news for you. I'm in love with Teresa and the wedding's off. I'll see you around. No, wait, of course not. Look, this has to be the hardest thing that Ethan has ever had to do. It's going to take some time. He can't just walk away from Gwen after he does it. What if it's something else? What if Ethan decided to marry Gwen after all and I shouldn't be here losing my mind wondering if I should be there with Ethan? TC. 
Eve wants to know what happened to those drinks, buddy. I'm on my way. TC. Yeah? I thought you were going to keep your cool around Julian tonight. Sam, there's a limit on how much I can take, all right? Every time I look at that guy, all I can think about is those damn lights coming straight at me. I want to make him pay just like he made my dad pay. Then make him serve the time for the crime. Have him officially charged with hit and run. Sam, there's nothing more that I would like to prove that he did it, that he rammed me that night. Look, you're going to have to make more of an effort to stay away from Julian tonight, all right? Oh, like you stay away from Ivy Crane? <sighs> Sorry. What I wished for at the fountain? That the children that Sam and I have would be as happy in their love as we are in ours. I thought it was something like that. Of course you did. You and TC have the same kind of marriage. I'm sorry, Rebecca, but there is no alternative. Yes, the alternative is you could marry my daughter. Then you could deal with this infatuation with Teresa later. It's not an infatuation. I love her. Ooh, and I love you too, darling. Well, I'm your chaperone. It's far too dangerous to go traipsing around in the woods at this hour of the night. Tabitha, it's not really that dark. The moonlight's really strong. We've got flashlights. Charity's right. It would be cool to see the ruins at night. You know, it would give us a sense of what it was like for the original settlers around here. Like your ancestors. You know, some of the markings on this pendant are from that time period. Do you remember anyone in your family ever telling any stories about, uh, about this piece? Uh, no, I don't recall. But I really must insist that you stick close to the campsite tonight. It's just too dangerous to be wandering off in the darkness. You know, maybe, maybe Tabitha's right. I mean, Chief Bennett said there was some old abandoned mine shafts around here. Maybe we should wait till daylight so we can find out where they are. Miguel's right. I mean, besides, I thought we were going to have a cookout tonight before we all turned in. Ah! Kids, settle down! The kids! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey! Hey, hey! hey. Gentlemen! Please, what's going on here? Everyone to the table and no magic tricks after dinner, huh? Let's go. Come on. Why don't you go check on Pat? Sure. All right. You see, Joey, I know what you're thinking. So you're thinking, how come most girls you know, they can do all this stuff? And, uh, well, Sheridan, she, she seems a little bit overwhelmed. Am I right? Mm, so far. Well, see, the thing is, is that Sheridan, she, she knows how to do a lot of stuff. Watch but it's, me. Watch it's just different stuff than you and me. You like know? what? Watch me. Well, she can, uh, bless you. She can speak French and she can ski. She can even fly a plane. Awesome. Yeah, tell me about it. You should marry her. Okay. <laughs> 127, 28. 29. Oh. 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 They're, they're definitely mm. a lot stronger than they were. You ain't seen nothing yet, honey. I think you're very brave. Oh, nonsense. You just do what you have to. You doing all right with my little ones in there? Fine. Well, actually, that's a lie. I haven't been much help at all, but Louise has everything under control. Oh, don't worry about it, sweetheart. They're a handful when you're not used to them. You definitely got yourself a keeper there. Excuse me? That Louise. He reminds me of my Kevin. Strong, but real uh, sweet, but with a real strong disposition. That's the kind of guy you want to marry. Did you loan Pilar to Rebecca for the evening? Why is she out of uniform? She's here as a guest. Good grief. 
Pilar is a dear friend of mine, and she's been like a second mother to Ethan. I wouldn't have her miss this important night in his life or anything in the world. Batting down the hatches, partner. There's a storm rolling in. Where's Daddy? Oh, he's probably in the library carrying on about the NASDAQ. Well, I wanted to thank both of you for my beautiful party. I mean, everything's just perfect, isn't it, Ethan? Yes, it's very nice. <laughs> Rebecca, if you excuse Gwen and I for a moment, I need to speak to her alone. Actually, oh. I... Oh, Ethan, sweetie's just gonna have to wait a second. about hurting my little girl. I thought you were raised better. Not everything can be solved by good manners, Rebecca. Look, I would give my right arm not to hurt Gwen. Then don't. There's no reason why you have to humiliate her here in front of all of her guests. That would be unnecessarily cruel and heartless. Well, then what do you suggest I do? And continue with this awful lie all night? Just for the duration of the party, please, Ethan. Ethan, if you have an ounce of love for my daughter, just don't do this until the party's over. So what's the story with you two? Me and Luisa, we're just friends. Rule number one, never lie to a lady in labor. You're obviously perfect for each other, why aren't you together? Her Trust. family. Huh. Well, yeah, you know, if the love's strong enough, you can always deal with family, but trust? No, you definitely need that for any kind of relationship. Exactly. Who said I was on your side? You can't trust this man, who can you trust? Look in his eyes, he's an open book. Is it time? God. No, not yet. You'll know when it is. You know, with each of my four kids, when it came time to deliver, I always all yelled out the same thing. Do not ask me why. What was that? Good golly. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of this. Why don't you put these guys to bed, huh? No problem. Guys, come on. For God's sakes, Rebecca, I just don't want to prolong the torture. For you or for her? I mean, what is the harm in waiting till you're alone so she can deal with this in private? Please. Ethan, please, if you have a shred of mercy in you, please just give her this one last evening. If you think it's best. Without a doubt. Sweetheart, you mustn't let Mother monopolize you all evening. We have tons of mingling to do. You both look so serious. What's wrong? T.C., your wife was just looking for you. Go ahead, T.C. I'm fine. Well, I wish your best friend liked me a little more. Baby. Don't be cranky with me, Sam. Not
guys, you guys, okay. Now that's two strikes. Now one more and you're definitely out. And you know what that means, right? Not only no magic tricks, but no ice cream before bed. Alright, go on. Come on now. Gentlemen. Thank you. How'd you do that? What? Get them to listen to you. But when I say anything, they ignore me. Well, they sense you're not sure. You gotta let them know who's in charge. Maybe I don't have what it takes to be a parent. I don't buy that for a second. I'd better get back to the bathroom. Well, help. Thanks, but I have it all under control. Okay. You know, when Teresa and I were kids, when we took us camping, he used to tell the best ghost stories. Really? Yeah, that's what you do when you try to camp out, Charity. I mean, he was so good at it, he'd have Teresa and me almost crying, thinking there was ghosts and witches in the woods. <laughs> Burn the witch. Burn, Burn the witch. Burn the witch. Burn the witch. Burn the witch. What's wrong? Don't tell us you believe in ghosts. Um, no, it's just, don't you think we're a little bit close to that settlement? So? Well, so, I bet they used to burn witches at the stake over there. Timmy thought Dad would give up smoking. It's not cigarette smoke, you dummy. That's smoke from being burned at the stake 300 years ago. Very close to this spot. What was that? Damn Puritans. It's Puritan spirits. Still lurking around looking for a witch to burn. That's why I didn't want these kids coming up here. Last thing these spirits need is riling up. Why? What will they do? <laughs> Probably the same thing they did all those years ago, Timmy. Try to burn me at the stake. We never did see eye to eye. You must have done something to make them mad. Oh, a few curses, couple of spells. Oh. Couldn't they take a joke for crying out loud? Oh, no. They were all gung-ho to hunt me down and burn me alive. Savages. And you know who the worst ones were? The cranes. They were the first to point the finger at me. They were the ones who led the mob. Hmm. Were those the same cranes that live in Harming now? No. They're ancestors. But believe me, the line hasn't improved with time. One of these days, I'm gonna make the descendants pay for what their forefathers did to me. They're going to suffer like I suffered. You both look so serious. What were you talking about? Quinn, your mother and uh, I... Were... I was just putting in a bid for how many uh, grandchildren. I can look forward to. Mother, you promised not to bring that up till after the wedding. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Forgive me, dear. Oh, I couldn't be mad at anyone tonight if I tried. <laughs> Darling, come say hello to the Bigelows with me. I'll catch up with you. Okay, well, just don't let Mother bully you into anything, okay? You shouldn't have done that. I had to. You saw how happy she was. But promise me you're not going to say anything till the party's over. Promise. Well, I should go catch up with her. Ethan, one more thing. Oh, where's Teresa? Well, I thought it would be best if she stayed away. Thank heavens for small favors. Uh, 
yes. Hi, could you give me the number for a Lopez Fitzgerald residence? Teresa, if you stare at that phone one second longer, I'm going to throw it in the microwave and nuke it. And don't you dare wait. Ethan? Uh, no, Teresa. It's Rebecca Hotchkiss. I was just calling to see why you weren't here at the party yet. I'm not so sure it's a good idea, Mrs. Hotchkiss. Oh, no. You're afraid I'm going to accuse you of going after Ethan again, aren't you? Well. <laughs> oh, I am so completely over that. Any worries I had were totally erased once I saw Ethan and Gwen together tonight. Ah, you should have seen Ethan couldn't keep his hands off of Gwen. I mean, honestly. If they were not getting married tomorrow, well, the way they were carrying on would have caused quite a scandal. Really, you must change your mind and come, Teresa. You, of all people, should be here to share in their love. This is not going to work. Just help me get my sleeping bag over next to Miguel's. I want it so close that I can practically roll into his when the time comes. I can't believe you're going to try to seduce him. Forget trying. Tonight it's going to happen. Ooh, ooh, I found something. One of the markings on the pendant matches exactly with a symbol used in early witchcraft. Damn the world wide web. away from reason, back on charity, so the demons can re-inhabit a body. Jimmy doesn't know what to be more afraid of. The evil charity? Or the spirits in the woods? But it's the spirits we have to watch out for right now, Jimmy. Same damn bunch of goody-goodies I fought 300 years ago. Well... We'll see who's going to win the battle between good and evil this time, Timmy. Angry. They're so angry. You guys ready for bed? What about our ice cream and magic tricks? Yeah. It's up to you. You can either stick to that crummy little offer Luis made you, yeah, or you can go with my deal. Are you really going to buy us all brand new bikes? If you go straight to bed and stay there till morning. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh -huh. I will do that too. Yeah, and I'll do that too. Wow. I'm impressed. Put the baby to bed, and I brought the others out to say goodnight. Couldn't have been easier. Huh. All right, you guys. Guess you're ready for your little magic trick, huh? I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Give Mama a kiss for me. All right. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Too. Okay. You too, huh? Mm-hmm. I'll be in to check on you guys later. This is amazing. Every time I think I got you pegged, you, you just show me another side you've never seen before. I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't think you were up to the challenge. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm serious, you know, I, I've just never given you credit for, for who you really are. Louise. It's Pat. What did she say? I don't know, I'm not sure, but uh, I think She's, she said, good golly, the baby's on its way. What are we going to do? Well, I don't think we had a choice. 
delivering the baby. Wait, we can't deliver a baby. We can't. T.C. Russell. <laughs> That's right. Marjorie Price, last time I saw you was right before the annual tennis tournament at the country club years ago. Yeah, that was ancient history. Oh, well, I'll never forget. You uh, and Julian Crane were playing for the championship title. You were supposed to anyway. When you didn't show up, he won by default. I'll always remember because I had $20 on you to win. So, whatever kept you from playing? Why don't you ask Julian? Dancing with Sam, not Grace. I'm gonna tell him. You can't. Besides, he won't believe you anyway. You're right. That's why I want you to go home and get the papers. I'm going to show Sam the proof that Ethan is his son. Please reconsider and come, Teresa. It'd be a shame for you to miss out on Gwen and Ethan's happiness tonight. Yes. Yes, I will be there in a little while. Good, we'll be looking forward to seeing you then. Teresa, you can't go. Ethan told you to stay away. And that was before we argued. All bets are off now. What are you talking about? Gwen's mom said that Ethan and Gwen were all over each other at the party. And Ethan must have been so mad at me that he decided to go through with the wedding after all. Well, all the more reason for you to stay away from the Hotchkiss estate. I can't. I won't know whether to believe her until I see Ethan and Gwen with my own eyes. Now I have got to go there. <laughs> Hurry, Teresa. I have such big plans for you. <laughs> <laughs>